Well, good morning and welcome to a beautiful morning here in Cambridgeshire. For those of you that have been following along, this is my 800 watt fence mounted solar panel system. This system has been running now for nine months. Today, I'm gonna to share some data with you. I'm gonna give you an insight into how this is all connected up and a little sneak peek into an upgrade that's coming real soon. So what you can see behind me are four 215 watt panels. These are 15 year old panels that lived up on our main roof for the majority of their life. About a year ago, we took them down and rather than throw them away or recycle them, we decided to put them to use on our fences to see how much power they would generate over the course of a year. So between June and December last year, they generated 190 kilowatt hours of power. Now in the grand scheme of things, that's not a huge amount of power, but that's 190 kilowatt hours of power that I wouldn't have had if I'd have recycled the panels when I took them off the roof. Now I'm sure somebody is going to jump into the comments and say, they look really ugly, I wouldn't want those things in my garden. And that's true, they're not the prettiest looking things in the world. But I'd rather have 190 kilowatt hours of power than worry too much about, do they look pretty? Now how are these things hooked up? Well, in my garage, I have one of these. This is an EcoFlow PowerStream 800 watt microinverter. Now, the reason I have this one here and one in the garage is when I bought these, these were on sale for 99 pounds at the EcoFlow store on eBay. Now, I'm probably never gonna need this one because I thought, well, I'll buy a spare just in case it doesn't work, but it's been working flawlessly. This allows me to connect up to four panels, uh, up to about 800 watts of power, and also connect my EcoFlow batteries to this and then feed that power back into the house. So how have the panels done over winter? Well, to be honest, not great. In December, the system actually used more power than it generated. To run the microinverter, used about 200 watts over the course of December, and we didn't generate even enough power to cover that. In January, we generated a whole five kilowatt hours. In February, we generated 25 kilowatt hours. And now as we go into the first few days of March, we've already generated 45 kilowatt hours just in the first eight days of the month. So as the sun gets higher in the sky, these start to generate more and more power. Now we're gonna run this as an experiment, like I say, for the full year. So at the end of May, I'll be able to give you the numbers for the entire year. So the reality is between December and March, these really haven't generated any usable power, just the odd few kilowatts. But to be honest, I have nowhere else to store them. So they've sat on the fence here. Um, I haven't had to do anything with them. They haven't even needed a clean. But now as the sun's starting to rise higher in the sky, we're starting to see some meaningful numbers from them. For the eagle-eyed amongst you, you might have noticed that this panel is slightly further away from the fence than the rest of them. There's also that little box up there in the top corner. What's that all about? Well, you'll have to wait till the next video to find out. Hope this has been useful, and if I'm lucky, I'll see you back here real soon for another video. Take care, bye-bye.